welcome to my channel it's your favorite southern psychic nene in the building and today we got another arena so go ahead and get your drinkity drink go get your snaggity snack and let's get it popping now the topic of discussion today you got people sprung and obsessed and people are keeping tabs on you also you got some people crying over you is the vibe coming through so there are two energies that are coming through here from two different groups of people okay so there's this energy from this person that okay both individuals you don't talk to anymore so the first individual is feeling like a hater you got this hater energy coming through of somebody who's watching you rise we have the queen rising card okay so that's the energy that you're in right now it says stepping into power praise coming up in spotlight right um, there's this energy coming through with them like they're seeing you rise and these are both individuals Okay, I'll get to the other person in a second, but this other individual who's a hater Okay, that you don't talk to anymore There's working in the dark and prayer closet But whenever this came out the evil eye card came out as well So this is showing me that somebody's been sitting here as some evil eye also could be spell work and sending these illusions to you with the Neptune seven of cups energy coming through here Okay, trying to get you disillusioned. So this reading is especially for those, if you had like a moment of hearing of relapse or you, or like a relapse of identity is what I'm hearing, even though like the proof's been in the pudding and you've made a lot of progress, for a moment I'm hearing that like you started to get disillusioned with an old narrative and it's because somebody was sitting here casting evil eye at you, working in the dark is what Spirit's saying, but we have the I am coming through, which is showing me that you're getting back into alignment and to what the kingpin it's giving kingpin energy that's your vibe that's your truth okay that's your i am okay so the kingpin card says dominance leader strategic investment and gucci vision right and so that's your true essence all right your, your energy you know you've got that name brand energy period okay so that's this person trying to show throw the shade at you is what spirit's saying because you're the queen rising or the king rising if you're a male and like you've come like way, way too far to fall back into the old narrative so this is just a uh, a clear message for you like yeah you were getting evil eyes sent at you and that's the reason why like you started to slip up okay but you've caught yourself you know who you are fixing your crown period so this other energy that's coming through is somebody you you also don't talk to as well um, but this person is someone that you had romantic I'm hearing a uh, love affair or something like that coming through here okay we have the dilemma card by Kelly Rowland and Nelly no matter what I do all I think about is you even when I'm with my boo all I think about is you so you have a lot of people who are keeping tabs on you also if it's it's also feeling like energetically all they do is think about you is what's coming through here okay so we also have the fake accounts a card coming through which is all about like spying like somebody's making a fake account to spy and we also have the groovy card right I feel like it's almost like you have this new level up that you've had where you get a lot of praise and recognition a new soul tribe is what's coming through here okay and you're coming off as unbothered right like this is how both parties see you is that as unbothered on your throne right and you're just slaying. That's what Spirit is saying. You're slaying it. You're killing it. Period. These people, we have the wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay. So I'm also hearing like if you added somebody recently on your social media that you don't know who they are, this it definitely, uh, it's feeling like this person could be that person. Okay. Okay. So just be mindful of the people that you're adding on social media is what's coming through. We also have creeping. Okay. You got these people creeping on your glove creeping on you boo boo we also have crying over you yeah like both individuals are crying over you i'm also hearing like this energy of denial like both individuals were in denial this one uh ex bestie or ex like this hater over here their energy they were in denial of your come up that's what i'm hearing okay they were in denial of your come up they're in denial of your success story is what i'm hearing okay and so now they have to face the cold hard facts with this okay i say that because we also have the denial card Okay, so, and the other person is in denial of their emotions. They were in denial of how they felt about you, that they honestly can't get over you because you're unforgettable. Okay, and so we also have the honesty card coming through as well. So denial to honesty. So this is showing me that both parties are finally coming to terms with the fact that one person is still in love with you and can't get you off of their mind. The other person over here is no longer in denial of your level up. Okay, so that's what's coming through here. We also have the love card, which is falling in with that dilemma energy song that we just uh, talked about. And we also have the death card. Which is showing me that like you don't even look the same. You don't carry yourself the same. You don't have the same personality anymore. Like you've just evolved. Okay. And so you've dissolved a lot of these illusions in regards to love, in regards to friendships and connections and relationships. Okay. And so now you're stepping into your biggest, boldest season with this I am energy. Okay. 
Yeah, people who are in denial are no longer in denial. Like, the proof has been in the pudding. You got the facts, the receipts, right? And that's the reason why they're keeping tabs and creating fake accounts watching you is what Spirit's saying here. Because, like, this this hater is actually secretly inspired is what I'm hearing here. But they never admit that part to themselves. Because then they would feel like that they lost, right? There's a lot of energy of pride coming through with these past people is what I'm hearing. We have the honeymooning card. This is love on the brain, uh, talking often, and feel feeling all the feels, okay? So I feel like maybe that's the energy that you're in. Like, you feel like you're on cloud nine. You're feeling like just this refreshment, this new energy, a new soul tribe, a new just like, I'm hearing a new bounty, okay? And like, they're seeing you as just like unfazed and unbothered. Like, and I feel like that really bothers them that you seem like you're so over it. Bonnie and Clyde energy, ride or die, us against the world, uh, dedicated partnership. Okay, so this is what happened. Okay, so you have this Bonnie and Clyde kind of energy in all of your relationships, right? You're an all or nothing type of person. And you had certain people who tested your love, tested your patience and your loyalty, right? And so now these people who did you dirty are now watching you in this honeymooning phase, you know, giving your love away to other people, whether it's in friendships, whether it's romantically, okay? They're feeling this regret and this remorse is what I'm hearing because you were a real one. Yeah, the long haul, exactly. In it to win it, long-term intentions and invested. With this long haul energy, it just feels like, you know, your power's not going away because you've always had this dedication in everything that you do, right? It just feels like this, like, passion that goes behind all of your actions, all of your love, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's why you're getting rewarded. Yep, the blues, scared, heavy emotions, and mental distress. Okay, so now I'm hearing this song by Elton John coming through. And I guess that's why they call it the blues. Time on my hands could be time spent with you. Oh, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you got people in their feelings. Recalling. Look, laughing like children. Living like lovers. Rolling like thunder. Okay. <laughs> Memories missing someone reminiscent. Yeah, you got a lot of people who are missing you, okay? And I guess that's why they call it the blues. Okay. <laughs> Jeez Louise, Batman. Yeah, a lot of people are missing you. They miss your energy. They miss the fun times. I'm hearing goofy. Like, you just have this energy of such authenticity. And once you're gone, the magic is gone, boo-boo. Exactly. Yeah, sipping. Nosy spreading rumors and gossiping. Okay, nosy sticking out to me with this. Yeah, they're real nosy about this new life that you're living, is what I'm hearing here. I'm hearing you're the best I ever had. Oh, Lord. Brick wall, defense mechanism, guarded and hard to reach. They feel like you're hard to reach now, I man. That's why they're making fake accounts to go watch your, your stuff. Okay, and kinky ways. Y'all, you've left an impact and an imprint on people, okay? Your energy is unforgettable is what's coming through. We have the kinky ways card coming through. Fantasies and fetishes. Um, yeah, you could just read that, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's how people be feeling about you. Like, nobody does it better than you in all aspects, okay? Because you're just the whole package. You really are. And I feel like, you know... There's this energy coming through, like you kind of played small in these relationships, and now you know you're the SHIT, is what I'm hearing here, boo. Okay, sneaky link is this hidden love or low key situation ship inside piece. This person, okay, the love aspect coming through, like they might have treated you like a side piece the whole time you was the entree, you know what I'm saying? And so you took your entree elsewhere, is what happened here, okay? So they're in, like, it just feels like this person's really regretful for putting you on the sidelines, okay? For having a side piece or treating you like a side piece, okay? You were the only option. This person is realizing that now, okay? Because they try to replace you, but boo, they could not do that, okay? They could not replace you, and now they're all up in their feelings, okay? Sometimes I'm in my feelings. Yo. Okay, we got the TikTok card. It says deadline procrastination too busy. It's feeling like, you know, like they feel like this was the deadline. Like it's too late. It's too late to come forward. You know, you've grown too much. You've made too much progress is what I'm hearing. 
okay? They feel like time's ran out, okay, to come back or to apologize is what I'm hearing. Yeah, look, light bulb moment, sudden realizations, feeling inspired, insightful awareness. Yeah, they're having this realization. They're no longer in denial of how they feel about you. Also, I'm hearing like uh, this person went through an ego death as well. Like you leaving them, I'm hearing like made them have to look at themselves is what I'm hearing, okay? And that's the thing. Like when you come into people's lives, like you change people. You transform people for the better is what I'm hearing. Like people have no choice but to grow up. They have no choice but to sit with themselves and look what they've done. You know what I'm saying? Like you're walking karma to these people. Play a play a, okay, play in the field, not looking to settle and seeking options. That's what they did, okay? Go where the players get played, period. Like, this play of player to turn around and is like, don't want to be a player no more is the vibe. Okay, heart to heart, deep conversations, intimate discussions, and blunt and honest. Yep, it just feels like somebody's facing the facts of how they feel about you. Okay, their energy is coming in heavy in this reading now. The other person, Spirit just wanted you to know, don't be adding somebody on social media that you don't know because it definitely could be this fake account is what I'm hearing. Okay. But they want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you now. That's what's coming through here. Okay, we got the Ten of Cups. You know, that's all about that happiness and fulfillment. I feel like that's where you're at now, King of Pinnacles. Somebody's seeing you as the grass being greener. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. Like, your grass is green. Your grass is fertile now. And the Nine of Cups. Y'all quit playing, okay? Nine of Cups coming through. Somebody wants to profess their love is the energy. Ooh, Three of Cups. See, that's given the vibes of like, oh my gosh. Here's the thing. When, okay, with this person, I'm hearing the reason why this connection felt special to them is because, like, you were only, like, their lover. They, they felt like you were also their friend. Like, y'all had, like, a really deep connection that way. And they took that for granted is what I'm hearing here. Okay? Because I'm hearing that song, uh, Lovers and Friends, come through. Okay? Yeah, Page of Cups. Y'all, this is giving apology energy. Somebody's apologizing right now in the astral is what I'm hearing. Okay, we also have the Four of Cups. Like, look at this energy. Like, somebody feels, you know, somebody's putting you on a pedestal. Like, people be putting you on a pedestal now. We have the Ten of Cups and now we have the Four of Cups, which is showing me, like, they're not happy. Like, your life, the way that you're living your life just so boldly and bravely, like, is so inspiring. And they feel like their their life is, like, dry toast with no butter. Like, that's, that's the energy that it feels like here. Okay. And like I said, we did have the King of Pinvines and the King of Pinnacles. That's your energy. Like, you've, you've built yourself from the ground up, right? You have this higher status now is what I'm hearing as well. The devil, look. Okay, King of Pentacles with the devil, that is Capricorn energy. You can have Capricorn or this person can have Capricorn in their chart. Like now I'm here with this King of Pentacles. It's like these people view you as like, it's like power couple kind of energy. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody is obsessed with you because they feel like it's almost like either a trophy wife or a trophy husband. Like that's the energy that you bring to every relationship dynamic just naturally. Okay. And so somebody's realizing that. Now it comes, we have the high priestess coming through. Yeah, the, this is your intuition. Like, especially if you've recently been thinking about this person, it's just because you're picking up on their energy. Yeah, look, the Queen of Wands with that Three of Cups. Okay, so they're seeing, like, people are seeing you as so much more confident, so much more radiant, okay? And so that's the reason why they're no longer in denial. So it feels like these people are no longer in denial about your position and who the F you are is what I'm hearing here, okay? Like, people literally having to eat their words this season, the Hermit card and the Lovers, Yo, you got somebody who is like, yeah, ten of swords. This is what you got people contemplating about things that they did to you, right? Like some people feel like that you were a missed opportunity. It could have been also in business and stuff like that. Uh, but also but it just feels like all around like the friendship connections that fell through because they did you wrong or the uh, love partnerships where they sat there, made you a side piece is what I'm hearing. Like they're really over here contemplating things. Okay. What they did to you with that ten of swords. In the page of swords, watching your ish, okay, two of pinnacles, and the three of pinnacles. Yeah, look, it goes from, you know, you feel like you was on the sidelines or like, you know, be, dealing with those betrayals. And this is your season of like karmic completion and like a new chapter of feeling like, look, that you're, you belong somewhere, right? Where you don't feel like you're just second piece, okay? And nobody's second guessing you anymore is what I'm hearing here, okay? Ooh, Kali Liberation, look. This is what it is. People are intimidated by your energy now, okay? Because that Kali vibe with the liberation, like, this is, like, cutthroat, Queen of Swords kind of energy that you're carrying now. 
like you've liberated yourself from a lot of shadows and darkness is what I'm hearing. And that's a part of why like you're intimidated because a lot of times like people don't want to grow. Okay. They're intimidated by how much you've grown is what I'm hearing here. The truth. Okay. Look, we have the truth coming through. Liberation and truth. Yeah, your energy now is like people are being served with the cold hard facts about you. Like there's nobody in denial about your position anymore. There's nobody in denial about how they emotionally feel about you anymore. Okay. This is the season of truth is what I'm hearing here. And Aphrodite, romantic love. Look, the truth on how they feel about you romantically because your energy is unmatched. Your energy is beautiful. Okay, it just feels like you're just the whole package. You could do anything, right? I feel like you're very, very talented and like it feels like you're the breadwinner, but you're also you also got that little touch of like you take you can take care of people. You know what I'm saying? Like that's your energy. You just naturally take care of people. And like once that's gone, like the fruits are gone. You know what I'm saying? Like the sweetness of the nectars of life is gone out of these people's lives, is what I'm hearing. Okay. Shakti transformation, exactly. Yeah, your transformation has them shook. Okay, that's what I'm hearing here. Yeah, radical acceptance for yeah, energy. Yeah, some people, it's like they're having this radical acceptance of this truth, of your transformation, of your glow up. Oh my gosh, y'all, look. We have Nike ambition coming through. I told you, you give a King of Pentacles vibes. You give a Gucci vision this season. And we also have Lilith Independence coming through as well. I feel like these situations with these people that did you dirty, like pushed you yourself. So have to better yourself and have to be focused and like make something more for yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you hadn't gone through those things with those people, like you wouldn't have leveled up the way that you did. Okay. You wouldn't have learned all the discernment that you've like that now makes you qualified is what I'm hearing to be this baddie period. So with this ambition and Lilith energy, like your independence is what's coming through. Like this is what people are noticing about you. You're no longer codependent. You're no longer like caring about people's opinions or like, it's like you want a lover, but you don't need a lover. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the kind of energy that you have now. Like if anybody's going to be in your life, they're going to be a valuable asset. Otherwise it's like, what's the point of like entertaining players or entertaining like fake friends? You know what I'm saying? Like that's the energy that you're in now. Okay, so Spirit's so saying just own that truth. Own the fact that you're an independent baddie, period. And yes, these people are obsessed. So let's go ahead and get a pop with some final advice. Spirit with final advice. Yeah, for my spiritual baddie over here, period. It says, I am responsible for my life. And look, she's fixing her crown. So Spirit's saying that you're responsible for your life. And you know, like people, you, you can give people a show, but this feels like this season, doing things to make yourself happy is what I'm hearing, okay? Taking responsibility and ownership for your life consistently as the baddie that you are. That you're not responsible for anybody else but yourself. Unless you have kids, of course, you'll say. Okay, now we also have I am determined. And this one is Capricorn energy. Double amplified. Like this is, this season, as we were saying, like embody the archetype of Capricorn. Okay, so Capricorn represents the goat. And if you ever seen goats try to climb up a mountain, they will do everything and anything to get to the top. Okay, they will do the impossible. So Spirit saying this season, you're going to be doing the impossible like a Capricorn, period. Okay. So your work ethic is strengthening is what I'm hearing. You keep on just giving these people a show, giving people something to talk about is what I'm hearing as you level up, period. All right, so that's the reading I have for you, darling. I send you so much love. Give a blessed, wonderful day. Ta-ta.